provide him with suitable weapons. Weapons of divine temper. A helmet, a shield, a sword. And a wave of gas. I know. You think I'm going to make a bunch of fart jokes in this video, don't you? But I'm not. Because usually fart jokes aren't funny. And this is science. I don't even know what that means. The myth. The magic. The mystery. The majesty. Clash of the gas. The good. The evil. The danger. Hit the button, baby. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about hot gas. I'm talking about waves, and I'm talking about Perseus. That's right, we're over at Universe Today. I'm talking about how NASA has discovered a wave of hot gas larger than the Milky Way. And it's rolling through the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. See, this X-ray image is the result of 16 days of observing with the Chandra X-ray Observatory. The image was filtered to make details easier to see. All right. Filter that mofo. Filter it up, baby. I think I used one too many of my special filters. Okay, astronomy, Chandra, NASA. We got a single wave bigger than the Milky Way. A single wave bigger than the Milky Way is rolling through the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. Article updated May 5th, 2017 by Evan Gao. You Gao with your bad self. Bad joke. Everybody loves bad jokes. I gotta get back in the space swing. It's a totally different attitude than all the... Look, thanks for that light year circle help. Really helps me, bro. Really helps me. Okay, what do we got going on here? Hey, guess what? An international team of scientists has discovered an enormous wave of hot gas rolling its way through the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. The wave is a giant version of what is called a Kelvin Hemholtz wave. You know those. They're created when two fluids intersect at different velocities. It sounds sexual. For example, when wind blows over water. In this instance, the wave was caused by a small galaxy cluster grazing the Perseus cluster and setting off a chain of events lasting billions and billions and billions of years. The findings appear in a paper in the June 2017 issue of the journal Monkey Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Wait, I read that wrong. Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Don't make fun of royals, they get mad. The wave we've identified is associated with the flyby of a smaller cluster, which shows that the merger activity that produced these giant structures is still ongoing. My mind is blown. But not by anything in this article, but that's something I don't want to talk about right now. Stephen Walker, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, said that shit. Perseus is one of the most massive nearby clusters and the brightest one in X-rays. So Chandra data provides us with unparalleled detail, said lead scientist. Stephen Walker at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. The wave we've identified is associated with the flyby of a smaller cluster. It shows that the merger activity that produced these giant structures is still ongoing. Fascinating. The Perseus Galaxy Cluster, also known as Abel 426, that name rings a bell, is 240 million light years away. It's about 11 million light years across. It's one of the most massive objects we know of, and it's named after the Perseus constellation which appears in the same part of the sky. Galaxy clusters are the largest gravitationally bound objects in the universe. How do you guys know? Have you been across the entire universe? I would venture to say that at best, you're aware of like 1% of it. But I will continue. Most of the observable matter in the galaxy clusters is gas. The story's filled with a lot of gas, man. But the gas is super hot. And this gas story is kind of super boring. Tens of millions of degrees hot, which means it emits x-rays. Well, I guess I could doom it up by saying, oh my god, what if our galaxy, instead of shooting out cosmic rays, shot out a bunch of gas too? Or what if we're going through a giant gas cloud? An interstellar medium cloud of gas. Oh my god, cannot contain the doominess. Remember, if I just scared you, I only added it for interesting purposes. Because this article is more boring than I thought. X-ray observations of Perseus have revealed several features and structures in the gas structure of the cluster. Wow. But if you say that science real fast, 
You'd be like, wow, I said that sounds real fast. Some of them are bubble-like features caused by the supermassive black hole in the NGC 1275, the Perseus Cluster's central galaxy. Another of these features is known as the bay. The bay is a concave feature which couldn't have been formed by the shaking my butt head. Well, that's what SMBH stands for, shaking my butt head. All right. It's good to know that whenever I get bored, I get juvenile. I'm not going to read all that. No, no, I'm not. You can read all. You can pause it right here and read it if you want. It says a bunch of stuff. Oh, we found a puzzle. Everybody loves puzzles, right? I like puzzles made out of pretzels. Okay, now I'm just being dumb. I might be dumb for the rest of the video. I don't think it's going to last much longer. Because I'm starting to, I'm starting to, you know. The bay is a puzzle because it doesn't produce any emissions, which would be expected of something formed by a chick in my butt head. The bay doesn't conform to models of how gas should behave in this situation. Kind of like the giant G2 cloud that passed by our galactic center, which is supposed to be just a giant cloud of gas, and it didn't get sucked into the black hole. I don't think black hole is real, man. I think they're bury centers, and everything's binary. Or trinary, or bunchinary, or a star field. The lead scientist behind the study is Stephen Walker at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. Walker turned to the Chandra X-ray Observatory to help solve this puzzle. Existing Chandra images of the Perseus Cluster were filtered in order to highlight the edges of the structures and to make any subtle details more visible. These filtered and processed images were then compared to the computer simulations of galaxy clusters. Merging, John Zuhone, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, has created an online catalog of these simulations. Galaxy cluster mergers represent the largest stage of structure formation in the cosmos. John Zuhone said, you see, galaxy cluster mergers represent the latest stage of structure formation in the cosmos. That's what we just said. You can pay by the word. Hydrodynamic. Hydro doesn't mean, that mean water. Simulations of, merge, of merging clusters allow us to produce features in the hot gas and tune physical parameters such as the magnetic field. Then we can attempt to match the detailed characteristics of the structures we observe in x-rays. Said that dude, there's his photograph, which is an alternate image of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. That happened 2.5 billion years ago. One of the simulations matched what astronomers were seeing in Perseus. In it, a large cluster like Perseus had settled itself into two regions, a colder region of gas around 30 million degrees Celsius and a hotter region of gas at almost 100 million degrees Celsius. In this model, a cluster smaller than Perseus, but about a thousand times more massive than the Milky Way galaxy, passes close to Perseus, missing its center by about 650,000 light years. Whew, that was close. That happened about 2.5 billion years ago. And it set off a chain of events still playing itself out. Today. You forgot the today. Yesterday, I guess. The near miss caused a gravitational disturbance that created an expanding spiral of the colder gas. An enormous wave of gas has formed at the edge of the spiral of colder gas where it intersects with the hotter gas. Alright, somebody's gonna have to explain this to me in the comment section. I'm confused by all the gas math. We think the bay feature we see in the Perseus is part of a Kelvin Holmes wave. Perhaps the largest one ever identified. Give that dude a Pulitzer. Wait, a Hubble? No. Nobel. Give that dude a Nobel for his finding a bell. <sighs> this is the Kelvin Helmholtz wave seen in the images. Perhaps the largest one identified that formed in much the same way as the simulation shows. Walker said, I wonder if he's a Texas Ranger. We have also identified similar features in two other galaxy clusters, Centaurus and Abel 1795. The study provided another benefit. Oh, galaxies with benefits, eh? Besides just spotting an impossibly enormous wave. It allowed the team to measure the magnetic properties of the Perseus Cluster. The researchers discovered that the strength of the magnetic field in the cluster affected the size of the wave of gas in the field. If the field, it, the field, is too strong, I think that's an if, the waves don't form at all. And if the magnetic field is too weak, then the waves would be even larger. According to the team, there is no other known way to measure the magnetic field. Alright, I just read this article, and I'm totally confused. I have no idea what's going on. Other than, if some people at NASA were trying to tell us stuff, this would be their secret way of telling us we got a giant wave of gas coming out of the core of our galaxy right at us. There's no way. That, that's that's probably correct, right? I don't know. I don't know nothing. Man, that's how you know you're smart is if you don't know anything. <sighs> I better leave. I'm not making any sense. All right, forgive me. Peace out. God bless everyone. The spectacle.
flash of the titans.